Now we're gonna gut the chicken. Normally I would have my fiance hold the front end up like this and then I would work on this and gutting it, but somebody has to hold the camera. So, um, he's, you can see he's left all these tail feathers on. I've got to open up this bottom end. Now you want to be careful doing this. You don't want to open up his intestines and stomach and everything else because that is not good for your meat. You're going to contaminate your meat. If it does happen on accident, you don't have to throw it away. It's just you would have been better off not getting that stuff all over your meat. Here we go. See now I've got his abdominal cavity opened up. I'm going to pull. Get a good grip. You gotta pull hard. If you want to save the gizzard, this is the gizzard. You have to open it up and clean it out. All we're saving today is breasts, thighs, and legs though, so I'm going to ignore that. Here's his heart. You can save that too if you want. The heart. This is an essential pull. I'm pulling out the croup. Which sometimes is harder than not trachea. pull out. Yeah, it's, it's usually pretty hard to get the trachea and the croup pulled out. There we go. Now, I have his, uh, I've got to remove his anus. And I'm going to try to do that without opening up the small intestine and getting uh, chicken feces everywhere. Chicken feces. I'm going to cut, there's bones here I've got to cut around, the ends of his hips. I'm going to cut up alongside those. That buzzing is flies if you can't tell. Once I've cut up around the hips, I'm going to pull this whole uh, shin dig out of there. See how I've got everything pulled out. His hips are open. This is a rooster, by the way. That's what these are, the little sperm tubes. Turn them over, and from the back, I'm going to cut his whole tail, everything else off. There we go. Last thing to do, get these feet off. Now, I didn't get the carcass real clean. Um, we like to save the carcass and the liver and heart and put them all in a bag together in the freezer for making stew or for making chicken broth. But I'm not doing that today since we've already got about 10 of those in the freezer. Um, so then you just take a hose to them, wash them off as clean as you can, and then dunk them in some cold water. That's it for this segment. Mmm, chicken.